All eyes are on the busy holiday weekend. Cheryl, we are hearing from people who live along the Chattahoochee who were really concerned about it ahead of the weekend. Social distancing is a major concern out there. <laughs> Look at this video, you see why. Warmer weather is drawing more people to the river. Neighbors sharing this video increasingly worried about the growing crowds coming to their area. Now the city of Roswell and National Park Service are taking action because of this. Joe Hankey is in Roswell tonight explaining their plan. Well, people living along Riverside Road here in Roswell tell me on Saturday, Sunday and again yesterday on Tuesday, crowds took over their neighborhood parking up and down the road before walking down to an island on the river. This video from an 11 Alive viewer shows the large crowd Saturday on the shoreline and photos a woman living along Riverside Road shared with us show cars parked on the shoulder of the narrow road, trucks driving away, she says, after dropping off truck beds full of people and beer and alcohol bottles left behind on the ground. She also walked down to the river and took these photos showing the crowd closer up. There are other photos we cannot show on air that the woman says she shared with the city of people urinating along Riverside. The city of Roswell is now taking action. Today, this city crew drove down Riverside, making frequent stops to put up several no parking signs. A city spokeswoman in a statement sent to 11 Alive wrote, among the many concerns our residents shared was that these gatherings had led to dangerous parking issues along Riverside. And Roswell police will be patrolling the area to enforce the parking rules. The area where people gathered over several days is on federal land and part of the Chattahoochee River National Recreation Area, meaning it is on National Park Service's property. The city of Roswell planning to assist National Park Service rangers if needed to, quote, find the best solutions to ensure the health, safety, and welfare of residents and visitors. And this afternoon, I talked with a park ranger from the National Park Service. She tells me they have rangers monitoring the area in question. That will continue through Memorial Day weekend. They will be out there reminding people to social distance. But as of right now, they have no plans to order people to leave park property.